Welcome back to the Next Level Martial Arts video blog. This is your host, Nick Lash, coming to you with the next MMA news. Alright, so I want to start with boxing, something we haven't really done yet. Uh, tonight, Floyd Mayweather is taking on Shane Mosley. Now, I don't know if you, any of you really know Floyd Mayweather, but he is 40-0 with most wins by knockout. So that's definitely, definitely going to be an exciting fight tonight. I also like to talk about uh, the upcoming, two upcoming UFC events. We have Machida vs. Shogun 2. This... Next Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday. We also have that fight, Kimbo's fight, Matt Mitrion. Kimbo, one of the great street fighters. After that, we have Rampage versus Rashad, and Forrest Griffin is also making an appearance at that event, fighting uh, Little Noguera. All right, next off, I want to talk about WBC. The next upcoming event is June 20th, and it's going to be at 10 p.m. Pretty sure live TV, not pay-per-view. It's going to be Jamie Vaughner, the, uh, was it, ex-lightweight -light yeah, lightweight champion of just got to take it from uh, Ben Henderson. Just took it from him. He's going to be fighting Kamal Sherloose, the Persian guy with the heavy hands. Now, that's going to be interesting because Jamie Varner is a Golden Glove boxer winner, and Kamal Sherloose just likes to pound heads. So, it's definitely going to be a knockout or just a good fight. Moving on to Strike Force. Al Star Omvrim is taking on Brett Rogers for a title shot. Now, a lot of people are trying to say Brett Rogers doesn't deserve another title shot because he just lost from Vitor and that was his last fight, but uh, I guess we're going to see what happens, but one thing I did find is that Brett Rogers is trying to say that Overeem has been hiding for over two years, so he's definitely pumped for the fight, so I think it's going to be a huge, great fight. Alright, last but not least, I want to give a shout out to some of our local fights. May 8th, that's uh, this upcoming Saturday. We have an MMA pro and amateur fight. It's going to be at the Hamburg Fieldhouse. Doors open at 5 o'clock and the first fight starts at 7. So I'm going to, I might be there. I hope I see you. Also, we have a shout out May 13th at 7 p.m. It's going to be Next Level Martial Arts' first MMA class with the professional fighter. So, oh yeah, we have actually six spots open if you uh, RSVP. That's six more people and you get your first class free so. all right so that's it for this video but before we go i want i want you to respond on something we were reading on share dog that they have a list for their was it their opinion of the top 10 fighters of the world pound for pound all right i want to read it off to you and you tell me what you think because i honestly don't really agree with it one through three anderson silva gsp then fedor elank and mo or however you say you know you guys know what i'm talking about Definitely first three agree with. Next two, Leota Machida, Jose Aldo. Definitely agree with. Number six, or yeah, number six, John Finch. Good fighter, but you know, pound for pound best. Uh, seven and eight, Frankie Edgar, BJ Penn. All right, I agree with that a little bit. BJ Penn is definitely one of my favorites. Number nine, Jake Shields. Where, 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 where are these guys coming from? And number 10, Tiago Alves. Whatever happened to some of the classier fighters like Cain Velasquez <laughs> and Junior Dos Santos and like Shoney Carter, Uriah Faber, uh, Andre Erlossi, any of those people, you know? I definitely want to give a shout out to Humorous for definitely commenting on one of our videos. Uh, we want to see what you think, who are your top five or even 10 pound for pound fighters, not just you, everybody, everybody's watching. Don't forget to comment, suggest, check us out. I'm Nick for Next Level Martial Arts. See you next time.